Yeah, we got it. Before we get into what this is and why it's important, today's video is brought to you by NordVPN, and they're the VPN of choice for all kinds of users, whether it's on Chromebooks or Android devices or iPhones or iPads or whatever, because it works across all of them, helping you to keep your data safe and secure, whether you're at home or out and about or at a coffee shop or anything like that. So if you're interested in something like that, uh, you can check out more and learn more at chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN. And there you can get signed up and get started today. So if you've clicked into this video, likely you know what this thing is, but you know, we kind of wanted to be cheeky there in the opening. It is the Asus uh, Expert Book CX54 Chromebook Plus. Now that's that's a mouthful and CX54 is probably plenty uh, for us to refer to this device. There's never been a Chromebook with that particular number. So I think that's easy enough to get, uh, get the idea across, but this is uh, Asus's new high-end Chromebook Plus device. And you can see it right there on the lid, uh, Chromebook Plus right across the top. And we don't have all the details on this device. We don't know all the specific configurations that will come in. I'll, I'll get into what this one particularly is that we got sent. Uh, but it's going to come in all these different because it's it's a bunch of up to this and up to that on the landing page. But the idea here is pretty simple. Expert Book is one of Asus's high high end uh, lines of laptops, and now we have a Chromebook Plus that's in that Expert Book line. And the idea is pretty simple. It's thin. Uh, it's very light has all the ports you're going to want on it and it's insanely firm uh, to be a device this light and thin um, it just feels like a million bucks and we don't know how much it's going to cost it won't be a million bucks obviously but it's not going to be cheap um, i don't know specifics on any of that stuff yet so i don't want to i don't want to say exactly what i think it's going to cost or any of that kind of stuff but I know it's not gonna be inexpensive. And that's an interesting play uh, for Chrome, Chromebook Plus because so far Chromebook Plus has kind of topped out like with devices like the HP X360 uh, 14C, which is $699 MSRP. Now it's on sale all the time. Um, so I'm not sure um, that that's what we'll see in this device. Clearly this, this, this one is probably gonna be aimed a little more at the enterprise users, uh, a little more at fleet management, that kind of stuff. Hopefully we'll see a model, maybe this model, who knows, um, show up at like Best Buy or something like that, um, or be available, generally available to consumers. Um, but if, if, you know, it could show up like the build quality that we're going to kind of look through here in just a second, uh, if this kind of thing could show up at that thousand dollar price point, I think it'd be a really good number, uh, for a Chromebook that is this well built for those who are just looking for the, the Dragonfly Pros of the world. Uh, this isn't gonna be for everybody, obviously, but man, this thing just is so, so beautiful. Um, and, and you know, it takes a lot of what uh, Asus did in the CX-9 and kind of just, I feel like just overall refines that so much. Like I don't pick this device up and it doesn't feel lifeless like the CX-9 did for whatever reason, but enough enough talking. Uh, let me let me get into this thing. So up, up top, it's uh, Asus says it's an aluminum alloy. Uh, it feels all metal to me, uh, but I'm sure there's some alloys in here, some additions in here to maybe help it be a little bit lighter. Uh, but you've got kind of, it's gonna be really difficult to see. I don't know, can you see this right here? So it's like uh, kind of a hidden uh, fan area. So this this thing's coming with uh, uh, Core i5 in this one, uh, the 13, or I'm not not 13th gen, 14th gen. So it's not a Core i5 either. I, this is gonna this is gonna mess me up for 2024. I guarantee it. So this is a Core Ultra, uh, Core Ultra 5 uh, 125U. I think is how it is. It, I feel like it's basically kind of like the i5, but yeah. Core Ultra, uh, so it's the first Chromebook with a Core Ultra chip inside of it. Uh, at the bottom, it's kind of got this angular look, which reminds me of the CX-9 quite a bit. Port selection is insane. I mean, look how thin this thing is. I think it's 1.69 centimeters is what they what they have on the website. It looks it, it feels it. This thing is super duper thin. So let's look on this side here. You've got Kensington lock, uh, my, uh, USB type C here, uh, micro SD card slot. And then on the other side, you've got a full size USB uh, A, two of those, uh, a full size HDMI port. What? On a Chromebook this thin? That's crazy. Uh, headphone, microphone jack, and another USB Type C. Both of those are Thunderbolt. Four ports uh, along the bottom. Obviously, we've got some fan ports here. 
Uh, and then we've got your speaker ports down here that and then also kind of fire off to the side as well. Uh, all metal bottom, all metal all over the place. It, insanely firm, like Dragonfly Pro, you know, solid piece of metal kind of firm, which I love that, but really light. I don't have the numbers on the exact weight of this thing, but it's gotta be sub three pounds. Uh, it just has to be, it's, it's, it's so light and thin. Um, and then you get all that and the coveted one finger lift, uh, obviously lifts this thing way up off the table and that's good. It helps uh, a little bit more air get down there with those fans. And I've already logged into, and I didn't do any setup really with this, but I went ahead and logged into it because th this is not a, a full unboxing because we don't have like the retail box or anything. This is like one of the ones they would put on the show floor at CES or something like that. But once you get inside of this thing, let me make sure that we've got the, uh, the display in a good spot. Good there. Okay. Um, so you've got obviously a 16 by 10 quad HD, um, display here at 14 inches. So just like any other, uh, 14 inch quad HD, 16 inch or 14 inch display, it feels huge. Um, it's nice and tall. It's pin sharp because I mean, quad HD on a 14 inch screens, all the pixels you're going to want. It's not the first time we've seen this. Um, Acer has their uh, higher end uh, spin 714 that's got that, uh, but it looks great. Uh, it gets wildly bright. I'm not going to turn it up anymore, but you can see how low uh, the display brightness is right now. And that's, you know, kind of at the max of what we can record. It gets up to 500 nits. So screen looks excellent. This particular one has anti-glare coating and is not a touch screen. There are options for touch screen options for non anti-glare, all that stuff. Uh, don't know, uh, when or if those will show up or any of that stuff. This is going to be one of those Chromebooks that has a lot of configurations. Uh, I feel like, um, and so it's most of those will end up being for, uh, enterprise level. So if there's specifics they need, they can go get those. Uh, you've got the, uh, I want to say it's an eight megapixel webcam. Actually, let me check that real quick and see, open up the camera here. We'll just go ahead and talk about the camera while we're at it. Hopefully it's going to work. It's acting funny right now. This is on a, a dev build. Um, again, this is pre-production. So there's certain things that uh, just may not work at the moment. The camera seems to be one of those things. I'm not sure what's going on here. I think it's either five or eight megapixels. Uh, I don't remember, but it's it's a high megapixel count. Obviously it's Chromebook Plus, so it's gotta have the uh, temporal noise reduction, all that kind of stuff going on. But then flip around here again, we've got uh, a backlit keyboard, obviously. It's got kind of that Asus signature gray keys. It's a love hate thing I've got with these. So under this really harsh light, you can probably tell it's kind of hard to see the characters on the keys. Uh, that's just something Asus seems to do a lot uh, in this lighting. Uh, if you're in the sunlight or whatever like that, obviously turn them down. You're fine. Uh, but if you turn up the backlighting, it's just enough light to offset the light coming in. You can't really see what's going on. Uh, but the keyboard feels amazing. Like it's relatively quiet. It's not the quietest keyboard I've ever used, but man, typing on this thing has felt great. The trackpad is obviously massive, spacious, well set in, glass, quiet click, no complaints already with that. You've got the fingerprint scanner here, uh, which works as you would expect, but I'll just show you because we're here anyway. And you can see, beep, the one quick touch and you're in, you know, so nothing out of the ordinary. It's not doing anything that no Chromebook's done before. What really is exceptional about this device. Um, one thing is the processor. We're, we're going to see other Chromebooks with core ultras inside. And this is clearly one of the lower end specs. It's got eight gigs of Ram, 128 gigs of NVMe storage inside. So it's not like, uh, blowing away stat sheets or anything like that. Like you're not going to look at this on, on a uh, stat sheet and go, Oh my God, I've never seen that before. It's going to be fast. Uh, it's going to perform really well. The screen looks really great. I mean, the screen to body ratio, I want to say is 88% or something like that. And so, you know, it's, it's as the hinge opens, some of that bottom bezel gets kind of hidden up underneath there. So it really has this nice immersive look when you're sitting behind it. Um, I like everything about that, but what really sets this Chromebook apart uh, is its build quality, its thinness, its lightness, and the ability for this thing to just be so firm and so well, like I'm just one hand lift right there, but I can hold this thing by its corner. It is absolutely and utterly rigid. Like I cannot bend this chassis. Like I feel like if I, if I pushed hard enough, I would crack it maybe, but it's not gonna bend. It's not bending under its own weight. Uh, which makes it feel great. It makes it feel very well made. Um, and that's just kind of part of what you're buying when you buy something like an expert book. 
But the other addition here is that you're getting this thin, light laptop with all this connection to it. So you've got multiple USB type A, multiple USB type C's, a full size HDMI port, uh, a micro SD card slot. So I mean like all the connectivity you're gonna want uh, in a device like this is here. It's thin, it's light, it's super well made. I mean, it just feels so luxurious to pick up and use. It looks amazing on the desk and I don't know how much time we get to spend with this one. Uh, we might have to send this back like ASAP, uh, but it was so kind of ASUS to send it over uh, and let us get our hands on it for at least a few minutes here as we wait for the like full production model to come in so that we can do a full and proper review on this device. But I'm excited for this. I know, again, this isn't a Chromebook for everybody. When you get up into these really, really high and pristine Chromebooks, it's, it's not everybody's it's not everybody's thing, I get that, but for those who are really into Chrome OS, who really like Chromebooks, and who really just want the best possible hardware, it's like, now you don't just have the HP Dragonfly uh, Pro Chromebook, you've also got the Expert Book uh, CX54 Chromebook Plus, and uh, I think ASUS has got something really special on their hands here. This is such a nice looking Chromebook, but guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.